Baz Luhrmann is an Australian artist with many directorial credits under his belt. From TV dramas to musical extravaganzas, he's had a variety of themes he's applied his visual style to. There are many similar stylistic choices, as well as morals and lessons that carry across several of his films. Some of his most known are The Great Gatsby and Moulin Rouge, which will be subject to the analysis presented today, along with related aspects in films like Romeo and Juliet. In all of his films, we can see his influence in style, like Quentin Tarantino and dramatic zoom shots, as well as close-ups of feet. His choices are what makes his films stand out to us as we compare each aspect of them. Lerman always loves to apply title cards at the intro that replicate the time period it's set in, followed by narration from a character who has suffered great tragedy and is expressing it while traumatized by it. All of us drank too much. This character, generally the protagonist, is involved in some point in history in which he fights against what is considered normal or accepted by high-class society. The morals were looser and the ban on alcohol had backfired, making the liquor cheaper. For the rich and powerful came to play with the young and beautiful creatures of the underworld. These protagonists love to write and are very much low class or poor and at a time where the population is extremely anti-establishment. The female protagonist, generally a love interest of the male, will be shunned or controlled by a male counterpart due to her gender, doing anything she needs to survive at the cost of all she knows. All my life you made me believe I was only worth what someone would pay for me! That's the best thing a girl in this world can be. A beautiful little fool. The male protagonist will be thrust into uncomfortable situations where he's never been before. For the second time that summer, I was guarding other people's secrets. And it will be what he needs to unleash his true identity. You shut up! Shut up! For this to happen, secrets need to be revealed. Why would the court Zang go for the penniless rights? I mean, sitar play. Yeah, I know your wife. That's so. Narrative choices will always involve foreshadowing, whether it be subtle, Gatsby, Gatsby, or direct. The woman. and begin with the narrator setting the scene as if it were a play. Ruled over by Harold Sidler. The parties were bigger. The shows were broader. The buildings were higher. Lerman loves theatricality, whether he's adapting a play, making a musical, or making a play inside a musical. Anachronisms are an absolute must for his movies always using modern elements that don't belong in the period pieces, yet are used to stylish results. But the use of vintage and time-accurate costumes and imagery will support the gritty realism of the times, even in his fantastical piece. It wouldn't be a Baz Luhrmann film without the use of modern music or artists in a film about periods where these artists do not exist. This method is used to convey the anti-normality of the films, which will always show characters going above and beyond to take down what's perceived as proper in the eyes of socialism. Love. Lerman enjoys to give us a show about love. 
love is always used in his films as the most powerful force of nature. That falling in love would change his destiny forever. Love is a many splendid thing, what? love. It has the power to bring people together. And tear them apart. He began talking excitedly. But with every word, Daisy was drawing further and further into herself. I've paid my whore. But love will be considered the most important aspect of life. Love lifts us up where we belong. All you need is love. Please don't start that again. For we are not living if we are not loving. And it is always true love if we are willing to die for it. And they do. The glamorous imagery used will always involve many cuts and video editing that will slow down or distort the images. The colors will be used in excess to draw our attention to whatever Baz wants us to see. Dancing will always be a prominent feature in his films, adding to the costuming and theatricality mentioned prior. Even the characters in a Baz Luhrmann film share same personality archetypes. Our heroes, or at least the characters that have conflict in the story, always have a dichotomy between them with the villains. Christian fights for love, and to be with Satine. Because she doesn't love you! While the Duke fights for dominance, and to own Satine. I just don't like other people touching my things! Gatsby is polite and loyal to Daisy, whom he loves. I knew that when I kissed this girl, while also respecting other individuals. Afraid I haven't been a very good host on sport. Even if it's to prove himself as high class. Tom, on the other hand, sleeps with women besides Daisy, his wife. Tom's got some woman in New York. Got some woman. While employing people of color, being open about his stance against the dominant race, quote unquote. Have you read The Rise of the Colored Empire? Both villains of the stories employ others to do their dirty work, with the Duke using his bodyguard to attack Christian. My manservant Warner will deal with it in the only language that you underworld show folk understand. And Tom using Wilson to attack Gatsby. Something gotta be done about a fella like that. The heroes have a naive charm as well. Christian ignores the value of money. As long as he has love, he can survive. A life without love, that's terrible. No, being on the street, that's terrible. No. And Gatsby is stuck on making the past a reality again. You can't repeat the past. You can't repeat the past. No. Why, of course you can. Christian, Gatsby, and Romeo suffer great losses during the pursuit of their love. Each under the impression of what is not true, giving most of Bert Lerman's films a tragic ending. Christian believes he can finally be with Satine before she dies. Gatsby believes Daisy is calling him to run away together before he dies. And Romeo thinks Juliet is already dead before ending his own life. Baz Luhrmann will always use his method of anachronism, dramatic imagery, and love to tell his stories. And this method is tried and true, as most of his work has been nominated for or won an Oscar or Grammy. Taking what we know and flipping it on its head with music, colors, and chaotic visuals, meld his work into flamboyant entertainment. That is what we know as a Baz Luhrmann film. Three, 